one of the questions, the last question I had for you is that a lot of people don't know this, uh, but you also um, you also manage Taika, mm-hmm. or not manage Taika, you work with Taika, uh, okay. or you are in management capacity, I'm not sure. Um, but I, I call it business management. Uh, you know, it's kind of what I do overall. It, it's just uh, navigating through whatever. Uh, and, and I know that there's, yeah, so there's been a lot of uh, what I consider kind of unfair perception about her involvement with Prince's legacy. And um, I, I kind of felt like this was a perfect opportunity for you to kind of clear that up as far as Taika's involvement with with Prince's legacy and what's all going on, because I know that uh, just with everything that's been going, was going on with primary wave and, and all the, you know, the rights and stuff being, you know, uh, I, I'm just hoping that you can kind of give uh, folks a little bit of clarity and just kind of, um, you know. Sure. So, um, contrary to popular belief, Taika has, has not abandoned, uh, her responsibility for Prince's legacy. Um, you know, as, as we all know, things were not left in the ideal position to, to be managed. And, uh, you know, I give her credit, you know, she recognized that and, and she knew that a structure needed to be put in place to make sure that his legacy is upheld and continued, you know, to the best of her ability um, and to the best that the situation lend itself to. So Taika is actually part of the primary wave team. Um, she is the consultant her and her and prince's nephew her son president they are the representatives for primary wave for the paisley park estate so you know as things I'm are excited about it. just yeah. just so we're clear jeff and jeff page and i have talked about this a lot because a i know lot. a lot of negativity has has been thrown towards primary wave like oh now what's going to happen and and i we we have come to consensus and we kind of enlighten people a little bit it's like do you do realize that by the nature of business, <laughs> primary waves, primary objective is to obviously be able to make money, but they also want to be able to solidify Prince's legacy. Yes, so all right. those things that you guys want, all those, all those unreleased albums, all those things that you guys have been screaming for, you're going to get it. It's going <laughs> to happen. It's happen. If, if, <laughs> if, if, it, if, if, if that, if that part didn't happen, who knows what this, you know, what the distribution well, it, You know, I, I think people have to realize, you know, in his passing, and, and like I said, the, the chaos and, you know, how everything was unsettled, but you, you look and you realize what are the assets that were actually left behind. These are very highly specialized assets. This yes. isn't just a house or, you know, a car, or, hey, he left some cash. He left music, you know, and in order, it, particularly in, in, in current day environment and whatnot, what or do you do? Rolex watch. Yeah, <laughs> <Right>. <laughs> or a Rolex watch. What do you do? <laughs> what do you do with all this, these assets? And you need to have someone that has the acumen and intelligence and the structure in order to not just cultivate it, but to make sure that it is handled appropriately. And, uh, you know, I found that primary wave was a, a prime candidate to do that that is their interest um to uphold the legacy of prince um and working with taika they needed to make sure and they wanted to make sure that you know she stayed involved and in, in whatnot so that that's part of it taika hasn't gone anywhere uh, and furthermore um she isn't in directly involved with the love for one another charity that prince and maite started uh back in 1998 that's uh been revived and so taika is a key member on the board on that so she's you know, helping to influence and uh, pay attention to the philanthropic efforts that uh, Prince had put forward. So Taika's still, Taika's still there. 